Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Monkey Island. Um, I do apologise, I will not be saying much for this episode, because I recently was choking to death, so... Floor is yours, Kari and Howard. Okay then, thank you very much, Chase, for that introduction. Please get better. This <coughs> will be deal. fine, the arsenic won't affect him that badly. Alright, fair enough, anyway. Well I, well, I survived the goat poison, remember? Oh, good point. Anyway, today we are going to be finishing off... The what we intended to do by getting into the crypt, because we are going to be reuniting two long, long cross lovers. Indeed. Indeed, we are basically doing a bit of spiritual matchmaking. It's a memorial plaque for Mini Strony Goodsu. Basically, it's basically <laughs> undead, undead, frickin' blo- What was it? What undead was that? dating service. I was going to say that stupid show for Silla Black used to host. Blind date. Yeah, undead blind date. Morbid. Kiwi! Never do that again. She's dead. She's dead now, isn't she? Yeah, I believe she is. Like, like her. Hello. It's Hello. this is mini good soup. This is the poor <coughs> unfortunate soul that lot that died of a broken heartbreak because the husband, the man that she was going to marry, was a deadbeat. Stole the ver stole the diamond from her ring and sold it to smugglers. The very smugglers that the very smuggler that was named King Andre that was mentioned back at the start of the game, mentioned by the very first cutscene of the when we were on Plunder Island. Basically, she was a she was from a good line of family that was very rich, and she was going to be like a deputan, but um. She fell in love for a pirate. Oh dear. I think it's like there's... So yeah, a real pirate shows up one day. She falls from hard, they become engaged. And she dies of a broken heart. Poor woman. Wow. One of the few tragedies of this series. Indeed. Kind of a shame. Go into the light. Don't go into the light, Bruce. It's not fair. Don't never let me in. I'm afraid I can never Yeah. One of the, the, the let's see if I can make this joke without actually choking ones. Um, <laughs> yep. Yeah, so that's one of my favourite lines from Arkham. I, mean, I, I do I did bemoan the inclusion of Joker in that game, but that is one of the funniest death screens ever. Don't go into the light, Bruce. It's not fair. Don't never let me in. <laughs> yeah. Yes, indeed. So, There's also a Metal Gear Solid reference in that game. Hmm. Hmm. So, she is unfortunately stuck in the crypt until she marries a man that she truly loves. Considering there's not much other suitors out there, there is one person she likes. We've already seen him in the last part, and he kind of has something that we had, that we needed to, you know... Basically, she like she loved Charles de Goulash. Remember that name that I mentioned last time? That's the that's that's the corpse that had the book in the hotel. Where's the diamond for your ring? So here is one of the biggest plot twists of the whole continuity. LeChuck was the one that she was going to marry. LeChuck is your yes. LeChuck, in the new continuity, was going to marry before Il was before his <coughs> proclaimed love of Elaine. He told me he was taking it <coughs> and basically, what he did was that uh, this is all this all ties into the new continuity. He'll explain it himself, but um, he sold the diamond to a character called Andre. Andre was mentioned back at the beginning first cutscene of this game when we were on Plunder Island. Those pirates that they became that became skeletons. Were there any other suitors you found You know, those. So mentioned it before she I said I said this here because she mentioned it about Charles de Goulash. There's technically a hotel there's te there's the corpse of the hotel. Once we complete that, there's not much we can do talking to her as well. He basically disappeared. I am assuming he died because of a botched bed. 
what happened to that young man you liked so much? We could repeat that again. Is that he's at the hotel? We already know, but we already know that he's the corpse in the room. <coughs> we already got the means necessary to reunite these two lovers. This is just a and she can't leave the crit as well. <coughs> because if you mention about the engagement band, she said that once that she moves on, the band basically becomes whoever take whoever reunites them. This is the band needed for the diamond ring to uncurse Elaine. As you can see, this is one of three things. Two of them is just two of them is assembling the ring. The last one, as you saw there, was basically to get rid of the curse ring. Technically, that's three <coughs> tasks. We already did half the third task already. I kind of said I I did that originally because of time saving. I hope everyone understands why I did this. Yeah, it's cool, man. I get it. Yeah, it's fine. That's good. Anyway, time to get the time to reunite the lovers. So, there's Charles. He looks pretty <coughs> good. He looks pretty good for a corpse. Wow. I'll He's already I'll dressed for the part. But the problem is, though, there's a there's boards in the way. So we have a crowbar. We scared the guy downstairs. Give him the heebie-jeebies. I can see the good soup crypt from here. Now let's let's send him on his way. Let's crowbar the bed. <laughs> I don't think that ha that's how it works, <laughs> game. Of course. So basically, he. I didn't realize they had a glass ceiling. What? What is up with these short people? It's been so long. <coughs> oh, Charles, it has. It has. You look so different. Really? Why, you look exactly the same. Oh, Charles, how you flatter me. <coughs> oh, but you must go now. But why? Now, you know, this scene reminds me of those old <coughs> classic 50s, <coughs> like 50s films. Oh, yeah. You know, what the, what the whole romantic and drama no, tensions, all that stuff. Night. The scene completely reminds me of that. But I, I love you, Mini Good Soup. Oh, Charles, you mustn't. Oh, I can't help it. I've always loved you. Do you hear? I've always loved you, Mini. Yeah, that's, that's actually interesting. A corpse with and a ghost. I'm not sure Rule Thirty Four covers it. You never know. No exceptions. And true. <coughs> Yeah. Marry me. Oh yes, Charles. Yes, a thousand. Well, that's well, that's a good thing because now they're gonna, now they are married. Well, they're gonna marry. They disappear, and that ring, that wedding band, is now ours to take. Something old belongs to us. Something new, something <coughs> old, something borrowed. And something blue. <coughs> you'll you'll understand this sort of phrase when we get to the appropriate game. Of course. A long time yet. But now we get a new cutscene. Hooray. But we're back on Monkey Island. Hooray. Have you found her, you and the <laughs> Yes. This is d and yes, this is a yeah, this is Diggy Dog. Yes, LeChuck, in his infinite evil, has hired a fucking mask, a mascot. I didn't think mascots were that evil, but here comes one of my favoriteest quotes from the whole series. And more slow. Curse those villains. They never give you enough slow with the value meals. <coughs> that is fucking hilarious because no matter how evil LeChuck is, fast food is even more evil than them. And to a more extent, so is the IRS. We're done with this episode. 
next time we're going to start on task two, getting the di getting the big diamond that LeChuck sold to Andre. Till next See time. See you all next time. Until next time. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye.